We are in the season of transition now here in Kansas City, and all eyes are looking ahead to the spring forecast. Oh, yeah, we're tracking the newest data for spring rain, storms, the drought monitor, and how La Nina could impact your spring planting plans. This is your spring weather forecast from the Storm Track 5 weather team. When you think of the spring, you think storms. And this is the newest update on where rainfall amounts could land this spring. Above normal precip expected to the east of Kansas City with some below normal drier conditions of potential over Kansas and the Rockies. Now with temperatures, a good amount of the country may be above normal this spring in terms of our temperatures. Now by the end of March, typically here in Kansas City, we average around 40 degrees. Then towards the end of April, it's closer to 50. Speaking of temperatures, we don't just look at forecasts over land. With weather team coverage for you this evening, Bill has more on the impacts from La Nina. We can look at sea surface temperatures for hints on what weather may develop downstream. That's what La Nina and El Nino are, variation in sea surface temperature in the equatorial Pacific and its relationship with the Earth's atmosphere. El Nino is in water temperatures are abnormally warm. Now we're currently in a La Nina pattern, which you guessed it, means sea temperatures are colder than normal. Historically, La Nina patterns suggest drier weather for the southern Midwest and wetter patterns for areas in the Ohio River Valley. Now when we look to remain in La Nina pattern for the next few months, sea surface temperatures are later forecasted to increase to a neutral state, which could bring more favorable conditions for rain. For more on where we currently sit with precipitation or lack thereof, here's meteorologist Alina Lee. Moisture is a key ingredient for thunderstorms to form, and while parts of Missouri may be abnormally dry, as we wrap up this month of February, that should not be the case going into spring. The latest drought monitor showing that abnormally dry part of our viewing area off to the east side, and you can see here for the next three months, the current outlook shows no signs of a drought expected for eastern Kansas or even the entire state of Missouri. And with plenty of moisture in the ground and vegetation, that's going to help aid in a very active spring season for us. On average, we typically see around 12 inches of rainfall when you combine, combine the months of March, April, all the way through May. And May is typically our wettest month out of the entire year with at least on average 5.32 inches of rain. Now there is the potential for some stronger storms, so we could very well be surpassing our average totals for the spring season. Now here's Gary with a look at when it will be the right time to do some planting. Because of the slightly warmer spring Aaron just told you about, your planting season may be adjusted by a few days. The early planting season, which are mainly your root plants and a few others, well, as soon as the soil is ready and you can get into it, you can start planting. So if you plant your potatoes on St. Patrick's Day, you may as well just keep it the same. Now, the mid-season planting could be moved up a few days. For example, I typically plant tomatoes the first week of May. Because of the potential for a warmer spring, I may buy my plants a few days earlier than normal, and I may shift my dates to plant maybe as early as late April. Keep in mind, a surprise late season freeze could still happen. So keep an eye on those seven day forecasts before planting. There are always a lot of dynamics in our atmosphere as we approach the spring months here in Kansas City. And those same dynamics could mean higher heat energy. With more heat energy forecast this spring, that could also mean more potential for stronger storms. And there is one thing that we are certain of. When storms threaten, we're here to keep you safe. The Storm Track 5 weather team has you completely covered. With Live Power Doppler, our mobile storm tracker in the field, weather team coverage 24-7 right here at KCTV 5.